Ambulance are done. A few days ago, I was present at a very significant and important event. The opening of the great new ABC cinema in Preston. Now, you've been hearing and reading some depressing facts and some almost frantic pronouncements about the film industry during the last couple of years. Practically enough to give some of you the impression that ours is a dying industry or that we're on the verge of throwing in the towel and turning all our cinemas into recreation centres. Far from it. We have a great deal of faith in films and in the cinema industry, and I want to show you some visible evidence of this. Of course, we have had a rough time. There's no use pretending that we haven't. But the point is that we're alive to the problems and we mean to beat them. And we believe in ourselves. At least we here at Associated British do. Or Preston wouldn't now have the newest and most up-to-date cinema in the world. You must wonder why I'm sitting here, almost literally in the comfort of your homes, trying to persuade you to go out and see a movie. And all by courtesy of television. It seems a bit of a paradox, doesn't it? Well, here's the point. Television and the cinema industry can and will coexist. Peacefully, but competitively. Hence my presence on your screens. I want to show you some of the visible evidence that I mentioned of our faith in our industry and our intention to give you the best that our work and ingenuity can provide. So, please come and join me in Preston at the opening of the new ABC cinema. And here it is, Britain's newest cinema. And technically, it is in many ways the first of its kind in the world. You'll be seeing some of its wonderful equipment in a minute. Telegrams have been turning up from stars and show business personalities, wishing the new venture every success. And believe me, those messages are very sincere. Because all of us who work in films regard it not merely as our livelihood, but as something really worth doing. We love our work and we believe in its future. By the way, this cinema follows a great tradition. For the people of Preston have been entertained on this site for over a century and a half since the old Theatre Royal opened here as far back as 1802. They knew quite a few things about Splendour, those old 19th century showmen, but I think even they'd be amazed at the luxury of the Theatre Royal's successor. Magnificent Wilton carpets, contemporary decor, and it's also conveniently arranged. Separate stalls and circle staircases so that you don't have to elbow your way in and out, Everything to make you feel, from the moment you enter, that going to the pictures is an occasion, a social occasion. You go to the pictures to relax and be entertained in pleasant and attractive surroundings. That was the attitude of the designers of this cinema, and I agree with them. And so do you, I'm sure. This plant ensures that whether it's freezing or roasting outside, you'll be sitting in clean air at just the right temperature. It's the automatic air conditioner, and it circulates the right kind of air at 25,000 cubic feet a minute. Keeping you comfortable and entertained is a more complex business than you may realize. 13 miles of electric cable in this one cinema is only part of it. What about this luxurious auditorium, with its foam rubber, nicely upholstered seats, and plenty of leg room? The big night is here. The lights have gone up, and everything's ready for the premiere. Meet the manager getting ready to greet his first audience. He's Jim Bonnick, Lancashire-born, who's been with ABC since 1947, when he completed his war service. Jim was a member of the 13th, 18th Royal Hussars, part of a formation which smashed its way through from the Normandy beaches to the heart of Germany. And perhaps he still has a touch of the military approach. But his staff don't mind that, if it helps the cinema to run smoothly. They share his ambition, to make his theater the entertainment and social center of Preston.
and no one can say that Preston isn't interested. The first night starts to draw a crowd of onlookers even before the celebrities begin to arrive. Well, that's natural enough. The new cinema is going to play a very important part in the life of Preston. So Preston wants to have a look. And not merely the ones who are lucky enough to have first night tickets. The kiosk is vital in any cinema nowadays. It has to be more than a kiosk. In fact, a, a small shop, able to cope with a lot of customers in a hurry. It's all part of what I was saying just now, that going to the pictures is an occasion. Here comes Mr. DJ Goodlatt, managing director of Associated British Cinemas. He has 350 other ABC cinemas under his care, but he's as proud as I am to help in the opening of the newest and finest. With Mr. Goodlett is Mr. W. Cartledge, general manager of ABC. And here's the mayor of Preston, Alderman Mrs. M.A. Wignall, with the Lady Mayoress. Yes, this is a civic event, and so it should be. Few things are so much part of the life of a town as the cinema. That's how it's been for half a century. And personally, I think it always will be. me arriving. And if you think I'm looking pleased with life, well, I admit it. This is a great day for all of us in the film industry. Films are our business and our life. We enjoy making them, and we believe in our job. That's why an occasion like this makes us feel good, like anyone else. We want the world to see that our faith is justified. I know that I'm speaking for all my colleagues, actors, actresses, directors, technicians, writers, composers, everyone from the producer to the ticket seller, when I say that we believe we have something to offer that's worth going out for. charming program sellers are the 12 finalists of a contest to find the most beautiful girls in Preston. It was part of my job to give the final judgment, a job that would make any man's day. All of us are ready for the big moment, that magic moment in the life of any theatre or cinema when the curtains open for the first time and the show begins. ABC are especially proud of these projectors, first of their kind in the world, with a revolutionary light source no bigger than a doctor's thermometer. But that's film business all over. It never stands still. We like to feel that we're always offering you something new and fresh. The end of a perfect day.